God himself is nature. God himself is nature. Nature is some blessing from above to mankind. And one of the greatest of nature we have is the sand. Yes. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So today I want to talk about one very powerful nature, one very powerful um, gift to mankind, which is sand. Now, before I move further on how you can combine sand and some other natural natures also to achieve either blessing or deliverance, generational cause, family cause, spell, setback, name it, whatever you can ever think of as negativity that has been affecting you one way or the other. I want to talk about sand. Sand, let me use the word sand. Out of dust, we were created and surely at the end of each month's journey here on earth, we will return to mother earth, to dust, to sand. Sand is life. Now, take for example, sand makes our, that is soil, makes our um, plant fruits to grow. You understand that is it nourishes it and gives it life now the same way sand can be used to make a plant to grow that is how you can also use sand one way or the other to set forth a word and it germinates it grows now it doesn't matter the distance it doesn't matter the distance of the sand of the land where you are using and the distance to where you want to send the sand on a spiritual errand. Sand is natural. Sand is connected to the earth. You understand? And we always pray that the earth brings nothing but good tidings our way and the earth at the same time takes away every evil and negative whatever that may have been channeled into our life now sand can i tell you something sand carry whatever you say when you have sand in your hands and speak to it do not joke with it i have often some i have often seen um, some persons with pack sand most times when they are angry they pack sand and they speak and they throw it away they are not joking any word or words you spoke with sand, connection, the land, the earth, that um, powerful nature, which is any word you speak with it, it must come to pass. Be it that moment or later. On this channel, I have um, we have talked about on how you can use the water. Send water, do I call it sending water on an errand? Now, on that video, I talked about I'm using as the silver seed of alligator pepper, a cup of water in your hand, and praying to God Almighty, saying, as long as he or she drinks water, and believe me, there's no one that um, doesn't drink water. I don't think anyone will survive to a certain number of days without taking water. As long as he or she drinks water, whatever they say, whatever they speak into my life, Whatever negative ways they speak or prayer, incantation, enchantation, they channel into our lives will not come to pass. And I don't think there's any human being that does not take water. We have that video on the channel. I will link it with this. Now, that is how sand is also. You take sand in your hand and you say, as long as um, whoever it is steps on the ground, on the sand, whatever they have spoken, Whatever evil enchantment, whatever evil um, pronunciation or whatever they speak or they have spoken into our lives will not hold. Now, aside from taking a um, sand in your hand to remove evil declarations, spells, generational cause, and whatever, 
You can also take sand in your hands and speak blessing into your life. We have talked about um, how you can use um, connect with the land of wherever you find yourself that it is going to favor you. Now, what do you think you are doing with the honey and other things? The video is on the channel. You are connecting, dropping it on the ground of that land. You are connecting with the ground. You are connecting with the power of the ground, the earth, the soil. You understand? So, Whenever you want to speak with sand, either to remove negativity, evil, charm, enchantment, or whatever. Also, you can also use um, sand to bless yourself and to speak blessing, to speak favor into your life. You can take sand with you and speak and say, the sand of this land will favor me. But now, it doesn't matter, even if you're taking the sand from your compound anywhere, you understand? It doesn't matter. It's still in that land, that community, that state, that country. You understand? And you say, the sand of this land will favor me. This land will favor me. This soil will favor me. The earth of this um, country, this state, this land will favor me. You understand? This um, is how you can, one way you can use um, sand to speak and connect with the ground. To favor you or to remove um, negativity just as plants germinate so shall every word you spoke or you have spoken using sand will definitely germinate one day now like i said you uh, we have um, like um so many things you can speak out with sand you we all know individually what bothers us we all know individually what we want to remove out and we all know individually what we want to pray in with sand now i want to tell you one very very powerful method you can use um sand ash sand ash and um water and salt to pray now when you get your sand get some ash get your salt get a cup of water also you can take um okay sorry you mix the sand salt and ash we have talked about this three um let me use the permit me to use the word elements on this channel how powerful they could be spiritually now combining the three of them as um a spiritual warfare is very powerful mix the sand mix the ash and the salt together Take the salt and sand and ash you mix together in one hand. Get a cup of water. Now begin to speak. Whoever that has spoken, that has decreed, that has whatever, I don't want to give you words. Use your language. Negative, evil, cause, spell in me. If that person steps on the ground, that is sand. If, if that person eats whatever is cooked with um fire wood or fire that is we get a fire uh, we get ash through fire burning fire wood or whatever and there is no one that doesn't steps on the ground there is no one that doesn't use um that doesn't eat anything that is cooked with fire you understand same way there is no one i don't think in quote even though probably because of health condition some persons don't eat salt but i believe even before they stopped um, eating salt in the past they may have tasted salt either in the restaurant or food they bought at anywhere you understand so you say if that person walks on the ground if that person has eaten food cooked with fire if that person has um, tested salt in his or her life. If that person has ever drank water or used water to do anything, bathed with water, or has ever done anything with water, whatever evil declaration they have spoken in my life will never hold. Whatever evil uh, spell, charm, cause they have decreed will never hold. I tell you, this is a very powerful prayer. And there is no one who has no one way or the other used these four elements now what you will do is throw the water away and throw the mixture you have in your hand away that is one way you can use it now another way you can use this mixture is the mixture of sand um, ash and salt is dropping some into your bed water I have a video on the channel where I talked about uh, using sand and salt I'm sorry sand and ash to pray yes I have a video on the channel far back 
you drop some of this mixture in your bed water speak and decree into that bed water and say whatever evil whatever cause whatever you know it you know that i i have taught us on the, this channel how to use um ash the ash um neutralizes yes ash is um a neutralizer ash is a neutralizer or purifier i, I talked about some ash and salt one is neutral sorry a lot on my head one is neutralizer and one is purifying you understand now you say whoever use your ways whatever you know what is wrong with you you know what is affecting you speak them into that bucket of water you have with you and just use it to pour on yourself and pray you can go ahead and read some 51 some 91 into the bucket of water now as you're pouring the water on yourself you are speaking out those things you don't want out of your life you preferably do this last thing at, at night. Do this for seven days consecutively. Do not towel dry yourself and go to sleep with it. I tell you, by the grace of God, you begin to see things that you don't want leaving you out, out of your life by the grace of God. So these are some ways we can use sand to our own benefit, prayerfully, by God's grace. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. It's none other person but Gloria Cheesy. Oh, thank you.